EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Boston Championship. Hello again and welcome. I'm Rich Lerner alongside my friend and colleague Frank Nabila. We're at the TPC Boston here in Massachusetts. And Frank, what kind of a golf course are we facing today? Big golf course, very much a sort of an inland link style. Gil Hands and Brad Fax, and they've tweaked it over the last few years. Uh, it's been a staple on the FedEx Cup playoffs since 2007. For those of you just tuning in, we're checking in on our featured golfer here at the first. Frank, were you the kind of player who actually might have been worried if you didn't have first tee jitters? Definitely. You didn't have the energy if that was the case. But uh, it's about turning that energy into some sort of positive form. Make nice full swings. Pick some good targets. And of course, you never know what's going to happen. Well, that's just how you envision it when you walk to the first tee. High and deep, right in the middle of the fairway. Good way to start. How'd you like that strike? Uh, that was top of the tree. Settles in over the putt. So into red figures now with that birdie. Frank, they renovated the par 5 second back in 2010. What'd they do to the hole and, and how does it play now? Well, they changed the green, especially the left side. There's a huge mound there now. It's still a driver off the tee, but before you could bail out on the left side, you can't bail out anymore. It's a devilish of a chip over that mound. Those chocolate drop mounds give the course a really nice look. Yeah, they just pop. And uh, you can see them, and you know that they're, uh, they're problematic. Yeah. And that's going to stay on the fairway here at the second hole. Second from an excellent lie. Hazard. Maybe wet. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Wow. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Now get down. Look out. It's over. The green. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. And with that birdie, moving into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Frank, you've talked about this sort of New England feel they gave this golf course when they remodeled it. This is a pretty good example here at the third hole. Yeah, that stone wall behind just sort of makes the golf course look like it's been there forever. They have tweaked the green a little bit on that left side, created a, uh, a little bit of a ridge. You can sort of play the ball off that if you know where you're going. Headed for the bunker? Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par three. That looked like a miss hit, Frank. The lie was okay. It's a little surprising. Maybe wrong club? Well, bunker play is really about technique and feel. The two greatest ever are probably Gary Player and Seve Ballesteros. 
Seve actually was so good, he was so skilled, that he could open up a three iron, that's right, a three iron, on a short bunker shot from a green side bunker and splash it to a couple of feet as if he had just used a 60 degree sandwich. Amazing. Great shot coming out of that bunker right there. Showing some skills tonight. Locked in on the read and the speed. Minus one in the early going. Frank, at 298 yards, the fourth is reachable for just about every professional. What might scare them off? Well, that bunker on the left, that's really actually a chance to showcase your skills. And that's where you realize how much better professional golfers are. A good bunker play, especially on a hole uh, like four, and then you will get well rewarded. This is a great place for a fan to watch, isn't it? It is. You see so many different short shots around this green. The bunker shots from the left side, if you hit it over the back on the right, the little bump and run through the little valley in the green. Fun hole to watch. Perfectly placed tee shot will set up an eagle opportunity, but then you see quite a few bogeys made here as well. Yeah, if you, if you stray a little bit, leave the ball too far short, and you have to play that pitch across the bunker, that's no fun. Great Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf's the next one. Judging by that light, it's not going to be too hard. Now playing the second here at the par four. Thirty yeah. try up next. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it is going to hurt the cause. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. A lot of great golf early on. Let's get you out to the action at the fifth. Early in the round, and playing reasonably well. Nothing great, but has a little extra. I mean, that is one of the hardest drives I've ever seen. Just let it rip. Long just meant longer. Wow, Frank, that was an absolute bomb right there. Yeah, what's longer than long? Because we just saw it. Good swing, good shot yet again. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good looking birdie. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Now comfortably inside that cut line, the former national champ makes birdie. This is one of the most challenging holes on the golf course, Frank. 465 yard, par four sixth. Yeah, just hit your tee shot in between those two trees. You don't have to be too aggressive. You really do have to hit this ball on the fairway because that green is tucked very close to the water. Well, now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. That ball's sitting up. You can bring it in high. You can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. 11 feet away. We 
needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, I want to get some in the top ten. Frankie, just love the variety of holes here at TPC Boston. Now we get to the seventh. It's a 600-yard par five. It looks straight away, but the problem is, if you don't hit a good tee shot, then you really have to be aware of that cross bunker. That is one place you don't want to go with your second shot. Always makes the hole easier, playing it from the fairway. Now the second shot to the par five. On the green, sure, but plenty of real estate between the ball and the hole. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. The greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Coming off the long par 5-7, now a par 3, 213 yards. What's the eighth hole all about? Another hole that uh, picks with the same theme. Really want to fly this nice and high. Uh, that narrow part at the front of the green really is to be avoided unless the flag is there. Good looking shot right here. Well, that one didn't work out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Rich, that was some shot out of the rough. I really didn't think he could even get that on the green. Well, just to get it on the green, as you say, I think is a big win. Certainly won't uh, hurt the course. There's still some time. Real golfers, by the way, do not eat tuna sandwiches at the turn. They eat a hot dog, right? Well, yeah, but if you uh, make a mess of nine, then you're making hamburgers. Nice drive, right in the fairway, and a good swing on that one. Frank, golf so often is a game of avoiding something. What do you want to stay away from here at the ninth? You have to avoid that little pot bunker just short of this green. If the pin's at the back, it's fine. You can fly the ball into the middle of the green. But if the pin's on the front, just make sure you carry that little bunker. to close out the front side here with a birdie. Right. This is an awkward length. Oh. 
came to the putt excited to make birdie, now settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze gave that a nice boost. He can't be that good. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on there. Easy birdie. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. And with that birdie, moves into second place. Moving on to the 11th here, Frank, and this par three has to be the toughest. Here at TPC Boston, 231 yards. How do you handle this one? Well, it plays a little uphill, so this hole really does shoot, suit the uh, high ball flyers. There's a big ridge in the middle of the green, so when that flag's on the back, you've got to hit your best shot. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Just a bit offline. Yeah, the hard work's coming up now, though. That's a long way away. Long putt here. This will require... Good touch. So a long putt there and just didn't read it quite right. So a tester from four feet. Keeping pace, good stuff right there, six under par. Moving on now to the 12th, and Frank, describe this hole for us. Sneaky good par four. It's long enough, you know, sort of that 450, 460 mark, bends a little to the left. Really, you want to be in the middle of fairway here, because that second shot with the green just tilting towards the hazard, one of the toughest second shots you have on the golf course. Just blasted that tee ball, Frank. Second shot. Good look at the green. Oh, yeah. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. I don't have this for birdie. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Wow, I thought 
thought he made that. Can't bury them all, Rich. Got it. For par. On the tee now at another par for the 13th. Frank, how do you play it? Well, it looks like it's a dogleg right, but ideally you want to keep that tee shot down the left and you don't want to leave any of it behind. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Looking at 130 yards now for the second shot. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, oh, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Just a couple of feet. On fire right now. Seven under par. Back here at the par 4, 14, ready to tee off. This is a big dog leg to the left, 495-yard hole, Frank. Yeah, don't try and hug that left side too much. There's a bunch of little mounds, and the chances of getting a good lie there, next to none. Just a little offline, so now, Frank, he's going to have to deal with a rough. Well, it'll be interesting to see how strong he is. He'll need to be strong with this. From the rough back to the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, it didn't take the bait, and at least now he's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. Well, Frank, you hate to miss the green on a par five with your third shot. Well, they say par fives are the uh, easiest holes to birdie, but the hardest holes to make four. Making a six, though, well, that certainly sets yourself backwards. So, tough up and down. Pretty good shot right there. And getting ready for the putt. Good par. All right, Frank, we're teed up at the 15th, and a lot to talk about with your caddy on this tee shot. Yeah, which club, which line, series of bunkers down the left, that one short right doesn't really come into play. Another one really, fairway first. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Yeah. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Good clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. 18-footer.
Once considered the best player at the college level, our featured golfer makes birdie sitting comfortably inside the cut line. Frank, here at the 16th, you really see this sort of New England character, don't you? Yeah, that stone wall now protects that sort of two-tiered green. And uh, it, it, it sort of showcases the golf course. It, it just fits in beautifully with what Hans and Faxon have done to the golf course. On the green, I'm looking at a birdie opportunity. Snake, snake, huh? Surprise, surprise. Oh, it's, uh, just when you thought things were going to go the other way. All right, you want to bring it home in style. You want to finish with a flourish. 412 yard, par 4, 17th. What's the way to play it? Just hit it down the right side. You don't really want to mess with that sort of rock crop bunkers down the left side. All sorts of bad things happen if you finish there. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Great shot out of the rough. He avoided all the trouble just to get that on the green. That was not an easy shot. He'll settle. Getting set now over the putt. Really starting to shine, moves to 10 under for the tournament. Onto the finishing hole here at TPC Boston. What can we expect, Frank? Drive down the left side, and then it's all about the second shot. Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Uh, a bit unfortunate in the bunker, Frank. Well, it'll be interesting to see what his bunker plays like. In the green side bunker, Frank, little bit of a problem. Bit surprising, misses the green in regulation here at the par five. Yeah, you'd think this is one of the easier holes on the golf course. Um, so now just trying to avoid six. All right, so green side bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know, it might just go in. into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Ball sitting down here in the rough, he's digging in. Ooh, what a shot right there. Beautifully done.
Rich, in that great opportunity, name on top of the leaderboard. It is only round one. Good place to be. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Boston Championship. This could be really good, Frank. Straight out. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Get down! Lay down! So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but the short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Rich, I thought he could get this clock. That just is amazing. Just a mind blower right there. Absolutely incredible. He made the shot. Back on the tee here at the fifth. Frank, this one is not drivable. Oh, that's for sure. Two bunkers. Uh, the, the one that most of the players really worry about is the one down the left side. 300 yards to carry that. Now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. So there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. That is a really good shot landing close to the flag stick. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Racking them and stacking them. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. Six hole here at TPC Boston. Always a fan favorite. What do people like about it, Frank? Well, it's like a goal kicker hole. There's these two big pine trees, and especially when you turn off that back tee. Hit it through that chute, avoid the two bunkers on the right, you're in prime position. Does it come down yet? Not only is it straight, it's mega long. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. On the green in regulation. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Needs this for par. Just dwindling the holes down. Pars are fine right now. Frank, now a big par five, the seventh hole. Yeah, there's a, an interesting feature on this par five. About 100 yards short of the green is that huge cross bunker. So a good tee shot, that shouldn't be a problem. Stray a little, and then your mind is definitely on that. Well, this one's sweet, Frank. Super. Mmm. What a drive. Just tattooed that. Second shot coming up here at the par five. That 
is tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Oh, you always like that. Count it as a birdie. Frank looking at the eighth, par three of 213 yards. Obviously short is trouble. Yeah, that's where it's narrow. Um, ideally, you want to fly that ball more, sort of at least 10 or 12 yards onto this green, where it starts to widen up. This one looks right on point. Pretty happy with that one. About 20 feet away, in a good spot. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the reed. Comfortably inside that cut line, the former national champ makes birdie. Real golfers, by the way, do not eat tuna sandwiches at the turn. Eat a hot dog, right? Well, yeah, but if you uh, make a mess of nine, then you're making hamburgers. Beautiful looking shot right here. That is massive off the tee. Meters, yards, I don't care how you measure that. That's got to be what? 300 meters, 325 yards, something like that. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Putting on a show, this tournament moves to 15 under par. There you have it. The second round is complete. Another solid effort put together, and it shows on the scorecard. And after two rounds, you really start to see uh, not only who's playing well, but who's consistent. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Boston Championship. Frank, that is position A. Yeah, too. The tee shot was like silk, Rich. I mean, it just sets up that second shot so beautifully. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch.
Not a problem there, Rich. Right off the edge. Wow, that hurts. Trying to put this hole behind him quickly. Double bogey punt. Rich had the luxury of shots in hand. Frank, now a beefed up par four. This is the fifth, 466 yards long. Prettiest hole on the golf course. A nice gentle dog leg left. There's a bunker down the left side about 300 yards. And then there's a run out at 350. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, the TPC Boston really starts to show its teeth here in the fifth hole. Yeah, beautiful hole. That green up ahead, though, there's three different sections. Obviously, the easy section is that middle one where it just pokes out to the left. So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. Birdie try again here today. Ready now at the sixth. It is a tricky 465 yard par four. Yeah, hit it through the chute. The water comes into play a little bit down the left if you're uh, a long hitter. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway. So where the hole is cut, just about 190 yards, Frank. Safely on deck. Our computer gives us uh, 23 feet, Rich. So coming off the birdie on the previous hole, a chance now for yet another one. And momentum all in his favor. Spot. It's in. Frankie, just love the variety of holes here at TPC Boston. Now we get to the seventh. It's a 600-yard par five. It looks straight away, but the problem is if you don't hit a good tee shot, then you really have to be aware of that cross bunker. That is one place you don't want to go with your second shot. What a great shot. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. And from the fairway for his second shot here. of what an old caddy used to say about the great Lanny Watkins when he was on fire. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. Frank, nice par three. 
Yeah, this is where the accurate iron player will definitely get an advantage over the field. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Frank, it hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Rich, it's not all gone. This is where you can pick yourself off the canvas. Start to string together one or two good shots in a row. Wipe away all the negative thoughts from the bad start and just try to focus on what's in front of you. Made the green. Not a gimme, but well within his range. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. And that wraps up the third round. Just one more to go before we crown our champion. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm looking at my crystal ball, Rich, but uh, that champion that we see tomorrow might be the one just sitting at the leaderboard uh, on top of that right now. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Boston Championship. This is not hitting in the right direction. No, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with Pop. Well, he'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. Yeah, Swin didn't quite look right on that one. He'll need to be strong with this. Frank, that was a pretty tough lie out of the rough there. Yeah, it made that actually a little easier uh, than, than what it really is. It would have been too easy to uh, try and bite off more than you can chew. So I could give him a pat on the back for that. Back in the fairway. And he's made it onto the green now. And getting ready for the putt. Frank, that is absolutely demoralizing. A big number, a double bogey at this stage of the tournament. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Good lie in the fairway, good chance to make something happen here.
Good swing, good shot yet again. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Cut the Eagle coming up. Well, this one's tracking. Frank cutting such a crucial part of the game, that's where you make your score. Everybody sees a putt differently. Some people like to putt to a spot. Some people imagine the whole line. But one thing that they both look at is where the ball will go into the hole. In other words, a right to left putt won't go in the front, it'll go on the right side. Interesting, with the almost space-age advancements in golf equipment, what with new, lighter materials, and with the increased focus on fitness and strength, players are hitting the ball longer than ever. That has forced architects to lengthen the golf courses without sacrificing the integrity or the shot value of the original design. Not terrible, but not as best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really... It was a, a rather poor approach shot. Count that for a birdie. Frank, I don't think they've come up yet with an EA Sports bass fishing challenge, and this wouldn't be the time to do it, would it? 16th hole. Uh, we might see a few people fishing for their golf ball, though. Uh, big mound in the middle of this green. You don't have to go directly at the flag when it's on the left. You can use that mound to kick the ball around. Terrific golf shot, and now that for an easy birdie. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Good putt. Frank, the 17th here at TPC Boston underwent quite a radical change. Yeah, that renovation um, and that redesign that they did, um, it, it, it changed the character of the hole, but they still kept that big mound in the middle of the green. So that second shot is still punishing if you misjudge it. And players nursing a lead, they might want to think about playing it safe down the right side, but if you're trying to make up some ground, you could uh, try to fly the church pews that divide the fairway into two sections, and that would give you a nice short wedge in. Yeah, give you a short wedge in, but really the risk, is it worth it? Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Coming down the home stretch here at the 17, set up well for a chance to go after this flag stick. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Wow, I can't believe he found the cup on that one. 
clean up on aisle five. Frank, the par 5 18th here at TPC Boston. This is a chance to be a hero. Oh, there is. The mere mortals play it down the left side. Everything slopes from left to right. But that bunker with a puff of breeze behind, if you can carry that, you are one of the longest hitters around. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Got away with one right there. Just missed that bunker. Yeah, that looked like it was sand the whole way. Ready for his third shot. Needs to hit this close. And it makes the green in regulation to win the Boston Championship. Ah, oh, you always like that, counting as a birdie. And that wraps up the final round. Just a great performance by our champion today. Couldn't agree more, Rich. Uh, I think this one will have to go down in the books as an absolute classic. Fantastic play, not only in the course today, but all week long.